get 100,000 kwacha for us to import uh, 20 tons of onion. When we buy 20 tons of onion, we are going to convert that kwacha into dollar. And we get the dollar. When we get the dollar, what we are actually doing is that we are contributing to the pressure on the kwacha to depreciate. The kwacha depreciates because we are importing onion. That's very bad. We shouldn't do that as Zambians. Let's allow more serious things to contribute to the depreciation of the kwacha, not onion. Onion, rep, cabbage, uh, whatever vegetables. They don't need technology. You don't need advanced technology to produce or grow these things. It's like we start uh, import, the way we, we import chickens. These chickens that we, uh, we, we grow, the white chickens. You know, we, you, you know, we eat onion every day. Huh? So when we allow a product that we eat every day, if we start importing a product that we eat every day, for example, if we started importing meal, you know what we won't have an economy to talk about? Because meal is in every household. It's different from importing a car. It's not everyone who imports a car. But when you start importing a product that you eat every day, a product that everyone depends on, you won't have an economy. So we should never allow ourselves to get to that point. Let's talk about, uh, you know, empowering the, 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 the locals. And uh, I, I'm happy that you touched the issue of, uh, of, of uh, cooking oil. And you said it is expensive. And there are things that Zambians are not understanding. Things are not just adding up. You've talked about cooking oil. Let me add, we have sugar. Mm -hmm. Sugar's, uh, the, the price has gone high. We also have onion. The price has gone high. Mm -hmm. But we have farmers. We have uh, Irish potatoes. The price has gone high. And people are asking that these things are produced locally. Sugar, yes, we know that we have got sugar on our market, which is imported, but mm -hmm. we also produce sugar we, in this we country. Sugar. Uh, we we also produce uh, you know, produce cooking oil. When you go to, to, to these supermarkets or markets and you see the cooking oil that is being sold is produced in Zambia. Why should Zambian products be expensive? You know, at this point, <clears throat> I'm tempted to uh, talk about uh, CCPC, that is uh, uh, Consumer Protection uh, Unit. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm compelled to talk about them because you know uh, these uh, uh, products like cooking oil, um, products like sugar, which we produce and export in huge numbers. Maybe CCPC should uh, investigate how the producers in these industries are uh, handling their affairs, just like they investigated uh, Lafarge and uh, Zambezi, Portland, and. and Dangote, you know, they investigated them and they discovered that actually what these guys were doing is that they were uh, engaging in an uncompetitive behavior, uncompetitive practices. So they formed the cartel and they were fixing the prices as, uh, as a cartel. So we need, maybe CCPC should move in to investigate how the price, prices for all edible oils are being set. Because... We are producing these things locally, uh, or maybe we are not, as I said earlier, maybe they are importing and, and just uh, packaging. But oh, at the end of the day, we are saying we are producing. That's what the manufacturers are saying. We are producing these things locally. So maybe CCPC should move in, move in into this, this industry of vegetable oils and find out how these prices are being set. Because there is no way that the prices keep, keep rising. If we are producing locally and we are using 100% local material, and then uh, we see that um, the, the response of the